Hey, Lacey, you want to go to the bar later? No. All we ever do at the bar is sit and watch TV. On a good night, there's nuts. You got a better idea? Well, back in Toronto, we used to have games night all the time. We could do something like that. What, fly back to Toronto so you can play games with your friends? Oh, that would be awesome. But no, I mean, we could have a game tonight here. We could play Euchre. Euchre? I hardly know her. <laughs> or Twister? Twister. I just met her. <laughs> or maybe we can just play charades. Charades? <laughs> I hate charades. Charades it is. Good thing I didn't say poker. Look at this. Potato chips? Potato crafts. Soggy stale potato crafts. Ooh, nothing worse than stale chips. Although I did break my leg once, that was painful. Yeah, but you didn't pay a buck seventy-five for a broken leg. I'm sick of getting screwed by the man. In this case, the potato chip man. So, I am writing a scathing letter. Well, you just ring me up and I'll get out of your hair. What do they think? They think they can just treat me like dirt? They think they can just ignore the needs of their customers? Where do I write to complain about the service here? Hey, look, old man Hafford's crab apple tree. A lot of good memories by that tree. See you, Hank. That was the summer you realized you could fly. Uh, I can't fly. What? Well, then, who was that kid? I'm gonna guess you're thinking about Superboy. Superman when he was a boy. Right. <laughs> Honest mistake. No, I meant we used to sneak in there and steal the crab apples. And then go down and throw them at the trains. Oh, yeah. Hey, we should do that again. You know, for old time's sake. Okay, let's do it. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, my groin! Oh, I cracked my knee! Oh. Hey, guys. Hey, Lacey. You pull your groin? Yeah. And finished. I'll just send that off. Chew on that, crispy spuds. <clears throat> Maybe I should write to Zoinks Cola. Yeah, you should write to those jerks and let them know you're not gonna put up with their... What's your beef with Zoinks Cola? Well, their cans have these wee small tabs and my thumb always hurts after I open them. Opening your cans is like opening a grenade full of razor blades. What are you doing? Writing your letter. No, 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 no. Don't get them mad at me. No. You're mad at them. And as your friend, well, similarly enraged consumer, it's my duty to hold them accountable. But I just don't want to come off too strong. Maybe sign it, respectfully yours, Davis Quinton. And may you all roast in hell. Respectfully yours, Davis Quinton. Okay, let's pick teams. All right. Why don't you two go together? Karen and I? No, you and Oscar. Why don't you go with Oscar? You're married to him. That's exactly why I don't want to go with him. What's wrong with me? Come on, we're here to have fun. Let's draw straws. Whoever gets a short straw gets stuck with Oscar. Stuck? Oh, we don't mean stuck. We mean end up with. Can you pick that one? Best two out of three? How come I don't get a breadstick? Well, oh, maybe we're getting a little old for jumping fences. I mean, you did pull your groin. That's got nothing to do with getting old. I pulled my groin when I was nine. When I was one, I threw my back out reaching for a rattle. Yeah, I don't know. Old man Hafford was old man Hafford when we were kids, and now he's really old man Hafford. Maybe we should just leave him in peace. In peace? Don't you remember when we were kids? He'd steal anything that went over his fence. I lost my brand new flying ring. Oh, my groin! You lost your super spiral football. Oh, yeah. That old fart's got my football. All right. 
Let's run over there, jump the fence, and grab his apples. Yeah. Only maybe we should walk over there and use the gate in the fence. Alright. And when you say grab his apples... Come on, Brent. I just want to be clear. Look. First word. The Count of Monte Cristo. Nice one, Oscar. That's two in a row. You guys are cheating. No, we aren't. That's one of my favorite movies. Okay, your guys' turn. Novi? What is that? It's the same thing, only faster. R rowing. Washing clothes. I said it was a movie. No talking. Do something different. It's still the same thing. I don't know what else to do. No talking. Okay, that's time. What was it? Chariots of fire. How is that chariots of fire? I was on a chariot. Look, see? I'm racing a chariot. Oh, you guys, you should really try cheating. Hey! <clears throat> Notice anything different? Wow. Someone got hit with a truck full of swag. I got this hat and this cooler, thanks to you. And Zoink's Cola, it's a twist off. Thank you. Mm. See? That's the power of consumer advocacy. And some very choice swear words. So? So? So what'd you get from Crispy Spuds? What didn't I get? You got nothing. Try the opposite of that. I got the satisfaction of knowing that my voice was heard and that I made a difference. Can't believe you got nothing. Sure something's coming. It's time. This is the other thing I got. Did you stretch? Yep. Your groin? All right. Okay, I'm ready. This is great. Yeah, just like old times. Yeah. Hey, uh, we used to have a code word in case of danger. What was it? Run! No, it was a Piccadilly, uh, Piccadilly Circus. It was pepperoni. Too bad you won't be able to use it, because I caught you. All right, so you caught us. Us. So, what are you going to do with this punk? Throw him in jail? Well, normally 10-year-olds raid crab apple trees and we drive them around, scare them a bit, you know, tell them they're making bad life decisions. But in Hank's case, he's already done that. She's right. All you're going to do is just drive them around in circles? Well, if I arrest them, it's a bunch of paperwork for me. I mean, they are just crab apples. They grow back. That's the problem with you cops. You're all soft. You leave them with me. I'll make sure he works it off. And I don't have to do any paperwork? Deal. I'll take the jail time, uh, if it's okay with you two. Let this be a lesson to you, Hank. See ya. No, Karen, uh, don't leave. Uh, uh, Piccadilly! Piccadilly! Pepperoni, you idiot. Oh, uh, hey, Davis. Hey, Crispy Spuds came through. Oh, yeah. Pretty sweet jacket, huh? Yeah, it reminds me of the one you used to have. Yeah, well, that's the style, right? Kind of the retro thing, D distressed. Remember I spilled mustard on the sleeve? Yeah, well, this is a different one. So what else did you get? What else? Yeah. I got a watch and a hat and a cooler and I a... got a cruise! Get out! Yeah, yeah. Cruise. Hawaiian cruise. Touring the Hawaiian chip factory. Turns out that's why the chips are soggy. Humidity. So tell me more about this cruise. Oh, God, I'd love to, but I just, you know, so much to do, you know. Got to pack, get my shots. Anyways, see ya. Hey, you got a hole in the back of your jacket. Your old one used to have a... Aloha! You're horrible. It's just this all the time. That's all you did. Books, movies, TV shows, it's all this. 
Well, you made me nervous. You just sat there saying, what's that? What's that? You know I can't talk, but you keep asking me questions. Well, 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 if it isn't Team Loser. Is that what they call themselves? No wonder they lost. We're switching teams. I'm not playing with Miss Rowboat anymore. It was a chariot. All right, I'll take Miss Rowboat. You and Lacey can go together. Aw. I mean, that's great. It's great. So you're not going to talk to me? Look, that's the code. It's been like that since we were kids. If you see trouble, it's every man for himself. He called the cops. Now i got to work it off for the next couple days. Well, that sucks. You know what he made me do? Okay, I picked the crab apples. Good. Now I want you to eat them. All of them? Every single one. Starting with the rotten one. You should be vomiting apples too right now. You're right. And I feel terrible. You didn't squeal at me, did you? No. I was too busy throwing up. Good. And I feel terrible. I still feel sick. Let's take this outside. Um, washing dishes. You're, uh, spanking a baby. Come on, you're worse than Karen. Well, maybe it's you that sucks at guessing. Julius Caesar. I know what she's doing. So do I, Julius Caesar. It is not Julius Caesar. No talking. Well, I can't help myself with her. See? Time's up. It's driving Miss Daisy. How is this Julius Caesar? It's Shake Spear. Oh, you are truly awful at this. Hey, check this out. I'm good. I just had a muffin. No, look. Half the kernels aren't popped. An optimist would say half the kernels did pop. I was thinking you could start the letter something like, Dear Stupid Jerks, Go Suck an Egg. You don't want to push this complaining thing too far. No one likes a squeaky wheel. These companies talk, you know. They do? Oh, yeah. There's pretty much only three corporations that control everything. There's Chrysler, Fox TV, and Campbell Soup. I thought there would have been more. Nope. You complain to Campbell Soup about your popcorn and see what happens next time you buy a Dodge Ram. It's just that you're so good with words, especially the foul ones. <laughs> I suppose I do know how to turn a phrase. <laughs> ah, I guess Chrysler won't be too upset if I crank one more out for old time's sake. Dear sons of bitches. That's the spirit. Are you still mad at me? Look, I feel bad. And not because I just watched you barf up two and a half gallons of rotten apples. I lost your trust as a friend. So I wanted you to know, on your behalf, I got old man Hafford back. But I'm still working for him. Oh, forgot about that. You're not gonna make me eat all of it, are you? Nope, I just want you to put it back onto these. Free toilet paper is free toilet paper. Our turn. This should be good. Oh, you're one to talk. No talking. Well, I can talk if I'm not charading. I just don't want you talking. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, just gonna go with it. Cheers! Yep. <laughs> How was that cheers? It's Woody. Cut and limes, right? <laughs> exactly. Can I switch partners? Thought I'd come by and share the wealth. Wow, all this from Uncle Ricky's popcorn. Thanks to your letter, Wanda. Now, I know your microwave's broken, so... You have to wait a little while to eat this. Or you can come by the police station and use my new microwave. Too kind. See ya. Jeez, that rots my socks. Whoa, language. I got Sergeant Crybaby a microwave, a cooler, 
a watch, and I haven't got sweet diddly squat from that stupid ship company. I don't know, that pretend cruise sounded kind of nice. Time for another letter. I get Oscar next time, it's my turn. Lacey and I do have a certain guess to say. Nuh-uh, he's my partner now, I am keeping him. I've never had him, he should be my partner. Ladies, ladies, please. There's only so much Oscar to go around. I'm only one man. <laughs> now, who should I bless with my gift of the guess? I suggest you pick me. Or you can guess where you're gonna sleep tonight. And so it shall be, my sweet. Sorry, Lacey. Karen, I am spoken for. Hey, Anna, help me out here. Which do you like better? Soulless sociopathic corporate automatons or gutless sacks of crap? I'm not sure. Maybe because I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm writing a letter of outrage to the CEO of Crispy Spuds. Why would you write another letter to Crispy Spuds? They've been so good to you. Davis. Oh, I, yeah. You gotta stay on top of these guys. I just found out that I only get to tour the plain chip area of the factory. The salt and vinegar area and the whole ripple chip wing are off limits. Unbelievable. I go with sacks of crap. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, what are you doing? I'm helping a friend clean up this mess, which was obviously made by teenagers, because that's what friends do. Yeah, that's what friends do. Is there a problem with that? Well, it's fine with me. When you're finished with the yard, you can clean up the shed. Then, I guess you're done. Hello. Check it out. Here's what I found in Old Man Hafford's shed. Your old flying ring. Awesome. Yeah, your super spiral football's there, too. Cool. W where is it? It's back in the shed. What? Old Man Hafford was coming. And he's got that cane. We're all familiar with my groin situation. You would have done the same thing. Ow. My neck. I think I napped on it wrong. What? What'd you take a nap for? I always nap before a big charade. How do you think I'm so alert and refreshed? Ow! Call off the charades. We're gonna have to loosen you up. How's that? Is it helping the pain? You're feeling looser? A little. Good. I'll get you another bottle of medicine. We apologize for not responding sooner, and we hope you accept this carton of chips and these cans of Campbell's soup as compensation for your inconvenience. Good for you. Well, I guess this is the icing on the cake then. What, with the jacket and the cruise? Or was there something else? Week-long unicorn safari? Let's just say it pays to be persistent. You do know there was no cruise, right? Yeah, it's sad, really. That's why I sent the box of chips in the soup. But why soup? Brent, Brent, Brent. Let me tell you about the big three. Fox Television. Catch her in the rye. That's it! Nice one, partner. You're not nearly as bad as Emma says you are. Okay, it's our turn now. Oscar, you go first. Doopity do. <laughs> What game are we playing again? Charades. Are you okay, Oscar? Feeling good, my friend. Feeling really good. Here we go. Is it a song? Nope. <laughs> How did you get so out of it? I only fed you two beers. Well, you're not supposed to drink anything when you've had painkillers. <laughs> you're on painkillers? I think I'm going to lie down for a minute. <laughs> Come on! Give me something, anything, do something! Apocalypse now! That's time! Wow! Emma, you really are a bad guesser. That was obviously the Titanic. Bingo! 
knew you'd come around to seeing it my way. Yeah, well, we've been friends for too long to be mad over a football. Exactly. If anything, there's a valuable lesson to be learned here. It's a pretty nice football, though. Yeah, I guess. Super grip spirals. Neon stripes. So just to review, you're no longer mad at me. What'd you do to the gate? I jammed it. Show me the football. Come on, man. Show me the football. There, now open the gate. Pepe Le Pew. What? Where do you think you're going? Fine, you caught us. Us. I hope you like crab apples. Because I thought the two of us could get a bunch and go throw them at trains. Really? Nope. I'm going to make you eat four buckets of them. And that's four. Well, that wasn't as satisfying as I'd hoped. You got any more? online, visit us at cornergas.com.